Welcome to this year's State of the School. It's terrific to see such a fabulous turnout. We've had the $10 billion stimulus package come in to support research for two years. Uh, but in a way, you know, this is going to be a little bit like another uh, rapid ramp up followed by a decline unless we can advocate effectively for more research. So I think all of us uh, should be speaking to our representatives about the excitement of what we do and the importance of funding it. Uh, this line shows the, the funding to medical schools uh, more broadly. Uh, the next one shows our own growth, largely uh, tracking other medical schools until the last several years. And actually, we've already got some foreshadowing for fiscal year 09, and we have a very steep increase in, in 09. I wanted to spend a, a few minutes talking about our new uh, president, Morty Shapiro. Uh, he's a very engaging, dynamic person. He's visited the medical school a couple of times. He's toured the hospitals, you know, many of the laboratories here. Uh, he's got a, a specific interest in the economics of higher education, and I think we'll see a, a big uh, focus for the foreseeable future on the experience and, and the quality of life for students. So I've, I've structured the middle part of this talk around our broad goals uh, for the next year, and these really focus on our mission areas. The first, to provide an outstanding contemporary educational experience. Training shouldn't be so time-based. It should be more competency-based. It's a hard thing to actually implement. But if, if you think about it, for the rest of your career, this will be the way you will evolve as a, as a clinician. I wanted to, to highlight a few people uh, just to give you a flavor of the talent base uh, that we have around our school. This is uh, Blaine Syed, one of the MSTP students. I also wanted to uh, talk about the research of Lati Cahoon, who's in the audience, uh, PhD student in the Integrated Graduate Program. Second goal, to have a distinct, collaborative, and high-impact research enterprise. Uh, we've got recruitments underway now in preventive medicine, in ophthalmology, we're finalizing some recruitments in Institute for Healthcare Studies, and there are a variety of, of divisions that have uh, recruitments underway. Uh, let me say a, a word about Shad Thaxton uh, in the Department of Urology, another MSTP student from Northwestern. He received this year the HHMI Early Career Physician Scientist Award. One of his advances has been to come up with a, with a very clever assay that allows the detection of proteins and prostate-specific antigen, or PSA, would be one example of these, where his research has allowed the capability to increase the sensitivity of detection about 10 to the 6 or a million-fold. Let me mention that uh, the construction site that you see going up, even with uh, some of the finishes on the outside of the building, is going to be exciting for the next 50 years here. Uh, the Ann and Robert H. Lurie Children's Hospital of Chicago is scheduled to open in 2012. Uh, it'll clearly have state-of-the-art facilities, but it's also going to be organized in a unique way, a much more vertical uh, structure and, and programmatic entity than many children's hospitals that are more horizontal. So the third goal is to help support and encourage all of you in the room to assume uh, leadership roles. Uh, wanted to, to highlight uh, one person who's clearly doing that, Teresa Woodruff, many of you know, uh, received the Mentor of the Year Award. It really couldn't go to a more deserving uh, person on our faculty, and you see a couple of, of the quotes here uh, that came in uh, from people. I also wanted to highlight the activities of Matthew Durno, someone in our development office as the uh, 2009 Employee of the Year from uh, the development office. Uh, we've also uh, got a very new initiative to create a center uh, for education in medicine, and this is an effort really to, to jumpstart more of an outreach focus on one hand and an inward focus on the other for leadership development. It's a uh, real privilege for me to have the opportunity to talk to you today about the uh, plan to accelerate Northwestern's recognition as a great academic medical center. This actually is work that is representative of so many individuals in this room as well as so many couldn't be here today. The plan itself has been two years in the making. We've actually reached out both internally to resources here inside the medical center as well as to resources outside the medical center uh, for collaboration. The plan itself started with uh, eight elements and has now moved into three integrated strategic goals. You can see them here, delivering exceptional care, 
advancing medical science and knowledge, and developing people, culture, and resources. And I'll come back and talk a little bit about that in just a second. This is the uh, brief uh, uh, vision statement. I won't read it to you. But what you can see is that when you couple the vision statement to be a destination of choice, you can see that for each of the various strategic goal areas, we've identified a various uh, milestones. You can actually see top decile performance here. You can see being a US News and World Report honor roll hospital an honor roll uh, medical school or a top 10 medical school. We believe the plan is responsive to the external environment. It's no surprise today the erosion in public funding for both Medicaid and Medicare. We continue to receive reimbursements that are less than the cost of providing uh, care. And so we need to provide more coordination of care. And we're looking at a variety of opportunities for us to do joint fundraising, to be able to find additional resources to advance the plan. So Every year I focus on, on these topics. I want to keep bringing them back so that when you wake up in the middle of the night you can recite them back. I think it's, it's a very helpful construct as you think about planning in your, in your units, whether it's a division, a department, the medical school, the hospital uh, more broadly.